Annyeong! Welcome to Delightful! In this video, I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to make a doll-sized wheelchair from scratch using common materials you have at home. I put together two versions, a simple version and an advanced version. Both are functional, the only difference is level of difficulty. So whether you're a total newbie or a veteran crafter, there's an option for you. Both wheelchairs come with a free PDF pattern, a link to which can be found in the description box below this video. They come in both letter and A4 format, so note which one you need before downloading it. The patterns include pattern pieces, a list of materials, and instructions, although you will need this video to guide you through the steps. Once you've printed out the pattern at 100%, measure the small ruler on the page to make sure they came out the right size. Great! Let's make the simple version. Gather all of your materials first. You will need standard corrugated cardboard, thin cardboard like a cereal box, ruler, envelope opener or butter knife, razor blade or exacto knife, a pencil, scissors, wooden skewers, rounded wooden chopsticks or even pencils, glue, a scrap piece of foam board or styrofoam, a push pin, binder clips, and a scrap of fabric, and hot glue. Extras for decoration include cotton fabric, acrylic paints, and rhinestones. Let's begin! Cut out all the paper pattern pieces. Place the pattern onto the correct material, trace, and cut them out. Cut wheelchair side out of the thinner material, and use cardboard for the seat and all wheel pieces. Cut out your pieces using a metal ruler and razor blade for accuracy, then sure up the rounded corners with scissors. The thicker cardboard is harder to slice through, so don't rush it. Instead of trying to hack through in one go, take lighter multiple passes until the cardboard separates from itself. Take your time and go slow, the pieces will come out better. This is especially true for the round wheels. What material is needed for each piece is also indicated on the pattern itself. You will need two sides, two rear wheels, four caster wheels, one seat, and one backrest. Pre-crease all folds and punch the holes. Fold over the paper pattern pieces at the thin lines and then trace it onto the cardboard. Make the crease using your envelope opener or even the metal ruler itself. Do this to the thin pieces as well. You may think you can bend it accurately enough with your own hands, but trust me this is a cleaner method. Place the pieces over your scrap foam board and punch through the center of all the indicated holes. Widen the punctures using a skewer or pencil tip. The underside of the punched holes may look like this, so clip off the flaps and clean them up until they're flat again. Cut down the skewers next. Now, you could use all chopsticks, all skewers, it doesn't particularly matter, although the rounder skewers do work better as wheel axles. For cutting the wood sticks, if you have a saw, by all means use it, but it is possible to cut through the skewers with more common tools if you work at it a little bit. Cut two pieces 13 centimeters long, one piece 8.5 centimeters long, and one piece 8 centimeters long. Next, fold the wheelchair side in half and apply glue to half of the piece. Sandwich the skewer or chopstick inside the chopstick zone and press the halves together. The skewer will stick out the top. Use binder clips to hold the halves together around the chopstick. The glue will hold more strongly on the bare cardboard side, so try not to glue the laminated halves together. Great! Before we assemble the parts, now is the time to decorate the pieces. However, don't cover the seat flaps and leave two of the four caster wheels alone. Just set them aside for now. I'm using black gesso, but acrylic paints, fabric, really anything would work. For a more decorative wheel or to imitate the look of a wheel cover, take a cotton fabric of your choice and glue it to the rear wheel.
I paint the edges black to look more like tires. Another option is to print out photos of a wheel, cut, and glue them to the cardboard. I've included an image file of wheels that are ready to print out if you'd like to use it. And lastly, there's always the option of drawing on the wheel spokes by hand. For the backrest, turn over the edges and hem the entirety of the rectangle. I like to do long ways first, then hem the ends. Set that aside, and using some more of the same fabric, cut a new rectangle the width of the seat, turn over and hem the edges to make it look prettier, then glue it down and around. I also paint the chopsticks and skewers with silver paint. I think this really helps sell it. Decorating stage done! You should have something like this now. Time for the final assembly! Add glue to the seat flaps, bend them down, and glue them to each wheelchair side piece. Align pieces at the back of the wheelchair. This is indicated on the pattern. Bend and ease the bulge of the chopstick over to sit directly behind the seat flaps, like this. This tucks them behind and keeps the exterior of the wheelchair sides flush. Sure up the alignment while the glue is still wet by poking through those holes you made earlier. In fact, widen these holes a little bit more if you have to. Too loose is better than too tight. Next, take the rear wheel axle, that's the slightly longer one, and feed it through the sides and seat flaps. Take the two extra caster wheel shapes and stick one on each side. Dispense a blob of hot glue around the end and set the rear wheel on top. Before the glue completely dries, nudge it into a flush position. If desired, glue on rhinestone caps. Repeat this for the caster wheels. Insert the bar and glue in place. Be careful not to glue the caster wheels to the sides, though. For more traction and to help the wheels roll, you can always apply hot glue around the circumference, making rubbery tire treads, basically. Lastly, take the backrest, place it over the bars, and fold the ends around to the back. Remove it, and sew the flaps down on either side. Slip the backrest back on, and you're done! As you can imagine, there's a number of ways to customize the chair for different results. For a lower backrest, you can cut the backrest bars much shorter, for example. Even though this is a very simplified version of a real wheelchair, I hope you agree that it comes across looking fairly believable, and was easy to make. Before we wrap this up, let's run through a comparison of which dolls fit this wheelchair. I designed it to match the standard Monster High girls, but it actually works with a variety of brands. I'll put the doll brands on screen as we scroll through, and you can judge how well they fit. Thank you so much for joining me! I really hope you found my patterns and instructions helpful for making your own doll-sized wheelchair. If you're looking for a more detailed and realistic doll chair design, don't forget there's an advanced version available too. Thanks for watching, and stay artsy! Annyeong!